By the time he realizes it's killing him, it's too late. He won't notice in time because he just keeps changing himself to go along with the changes in his surroundings. Hey YouTube, welcome back to Urban Outdoors. I'm Urban and hey, I'm glad you're here. Today I've decided to smoke this little pipe here. And this is the very first pipe that I purchased for myself when I decided to get into pipe smoking. I don't know what brand it is, it was in a basket says made in Italy that's all I know about it but I like the style it's very comfortable it's a good smoking pipe eh? so that's what I decided to smoke today inside of it I have some Paladin black cherry tobacco because you know I'm all about the aromatics Well, today, guys, I want to talk about something that's all over YouTube, and I'm sure you've seen at least one video that's related to this topic, and that's what's going on over in Iran and Iraq. The thing I hate about this is all of the YouTube channels that thrive on this stuff. You know, and they're putting World War III, you know, just clickbait, so that they can get clicks on their channels, and... There are a lot of YouTube channels out there that just over-dramatize this whole end-of-the-world apocalyptic type of scenario, and it's like they thrive on it, and they're, they're excited about it. Almost as if they want a war to break out, and uh, that's, that's sad. If history has taught us anything, that is that war is inevitable and sometimes necessary. And we may be in a situation where it's necessary. I'm sure you all know the scenario about the frog in a boiling pot of water. If you boil a pot of water and put a frog in there, he's going to jump right out. But, if you put a frog in a pot of room temperature water, slowly increase the heat until it comes to a boil, the frog will sit there, tolerate it, and die. I think that that's where America is right now. I think we are frogs in a pot. And I think that for a long time now, with the help of the liberal Democrats in the world, we have been tolerating the temperature of the water getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Afraid to offend or afraid to do something, we have just been letting all of this terrorism crap go on and go on. And every little thing that happens, oh, well, if they do it again, we'll do something. We are tolerating terrorism. And that's not what America is about. That's not what made America, America. And that's not what made America the great superpower nation that we are right now. I tell you what, I'm so glad that we've got a man like Donald Trump with some balls in the office. Because if, if the presidency was filled by some liberal Democrat snowflake piece of crap, that wants to be in office right now, it would get worse. There is no need to grieve the loss of this salami guy that we killed. He was an evil man. He was evil, responsible for thousands of deaths. And our own news media has the nerve to defend this son of a bitch? Give me a break. Excuse my French, but it pisses me off. I 
I don't usually get political on my videos. And if this is offending someone, hey, I'm sorry. But hey, it's my channel. It's my opinion. We cannot continue to be the frog in the pot. We cannot continue to tolerate evil and tolerate terrorism. We cannot continue to condone this type of behavior. We can't continue to make excuses. The time has come for action. And we've got a man in the office who understands that. Thank God. Nobody wants to go to war. And nobody is happy about the concept of war. But we need to also realize that sometimes it's necessary. And I'll tell you what, every day I pray for our troops and our troops' families and loved ones. They understand that they're going to be put possibly in harm's way. And thank God, they, thank God they have the, the heart and the love for their country that they're willing to do that. And I pray for them every day. And you should too. They know the risk and they accept it for us sitting here comfortably in our homes in the United States of America. They're over there sleeping in ditches. Waiting for what some evil raghead decides he's going to do for the day. In hopes that that rocket doesn't come directly their way. But they do it willingly. Because you know, somebody's got to. And I'll tell you what guys, we're there. The water has reached a small boil and it's getting hot. Are we going to sit here in this water and die? Here's what I think we should do. I think we should just eliminate all of them. Clear the whole area. Take it over as a United States too. Then, all of the liberal Democrat snowflakes can move their pansy asses over there, since they hate it here so much. Let them start over and do whatever they want to. They can have just one bathroom for everybody. Ah, uh, I'm not going to go any further. What a world it would be without that, without them here though, huh? Like I say, I usually don't get political on my videos, guys, and I'm not going to apologize for it. And I'll probably get some thumbs down, but that's okay. It's an important time in history right now. And we might be at the brink of World War III, but don't dramatize it. Accept it for the severity that it is, and let's just be prepared for what may happen. Let's don't glorify these bastards and give them any credit. Hell, after this evil guy who was responsible for thousands of deaths, this evil bastard was killed by us, thanks to President Trump. These evil raghead bastards have the, the, the nerve to bomb our, our bases in Iraq, putting to risk the lives of thousands of people Americans as well and we're gonna sit by and let it happen then their next in command goes and addresses their nation and tells them that they just slapped America in the face if a man gets slapped in the face by another man he doesn't just sit there and take it he retaliates and that's exactly what we should do with full force. Just my opinion. Opinions vary. Well, I'm not going to rant anymore, guys. I just uh, got so sick of, not so much sick of watching the news and what's going on, because what's going to happen is going to happen. But what really got my blood boiling was watching all of the YouTubers seemingly happy about it. 
Makes no sense to me. But anyway, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my pipe, guys, in this beautiful weather. It's a little chilly today. It's actually in the 50s, but it's supposed to get up to the mid-60s. And we're in almost mid-January. Go figure. Till next time, guys. Keep calm, carry on, keep puffing, and keep it outdoors. I tell you what, I am so thankful that Donald Trump is in the office. Because if there was some one of these liberal Democrat snowflake pussies in the office, right? Well, I better scratch that. <laughs>